G'day everyone, I am the man called Kimo Sabi, the man with the plan from the land down under, and I'm here to talk to you about the company men, Dead White and Blue. The company men, Dead White and Blue, adds the action of Suicide Squad to the intrigue of Homeland and Body of Lies. It strikes back with superpowers. In a world where being superhuman is illegal, they are America's dirty little secret. A CIA funded prevention and response unit on paper, but in reality, a superhuman hit squad protecting the nation's interests in the Middle East. When they receive information that a terrorist attack is imminent, one that will affect even the United States, they follow every lead in a desperate race against the clock to stop it. At every turn they are betrayed and attacked by enemy and ally alike, until a final showdown tests their loyalty to their country, their job, and each other. This 60 page full colour book is packed with action and intrigue. It's the first issue in a three issue story totaling 180 pages, and the language, violence, and concepts are aimed at an adult audience, with a story that is layered and involved. This story, titled Dead, White and Blue, is the first arc out of four stories that tell the complete Company Men saga. All the pencils and inks are completed, and about half the colours and letters are done as well. The remaining colours, letters, and the setup of the digital file is budgeted for separate to this Indiegogo campaign. No matter what happens, this book is being published. Fulfillment is being handled independently by RJ from Critical Blast Logistics. Now you guys know RJ, he's a stand-up guy with experience in this field, and he's worked hard to minimise international postage, letting us pass those savings on to you. We also have a Clayton Barton exclusive variant cover. This image graces the deluxe edition of the Company Men, Dead, White and Blue. An oversized stuffed with the gills edition filled with concept art, pin-up script pages, costume designs, page breakdowns, behind the scenes info and sneak peeks at upcoming Company Men projects. The campaign goes live 6pm Eastern Standard Time on Friday the 19th on Indiegogo. I want to stress again the success of this book, its ability to be completed, does not rest on this campaign. This campaign is to raise funds for the publishing and distribution of the comic. As we speak, Kelsey Mazina is already hard at work on the first pages of issue 2. You can back this campaign with confidence. And if you think this Aussie accent makes me sound dodgy and you aren't sure if you want to sink some of your hard earned money into the company man, we also have a more inexpensive digital version available in the campaign. But I'm confident once you see how good this book looks, you won't rest until you have a physical copy in your hands. Thanks for having a look at this campaign, thanks for your consideration and support, and I hope you enjoy reading The Company Men, Dead, White and Blue as much as I did writing it.